While most music producers struggle to make any money at all, there are other producers who are essentially printing money. And in this video, we're going to take a look at why that is, and then I'll show you how to become one of those producers because I've worked for many of them. Hey everyone, Daniel here from Dark Label Music. Over the past many years, we've managed and developed hundreds of music producers, so we get to see behind the curtain of some pretty impressive music production businesses. And there are some producers who, like I just said, are printing money. So what do I mean by that? What I mean is, for every dollar or hour they invest into their career, they get back at least double, or even five to 10 times what they put in. They're making extra money on activities that they were already going to do anyway. And instead of doing one thing in exchange for one income stream, they will do one thing and in exchange get two or three income streams from that one thing. So what kind of producers am I talking about? I'm talking about music producers who have built influence, typically on the internet. And I know this sounds obvious, but stick with me here because I promise I'm going to share some angles that you need to hear. Now, a lot of producers will cringe at the word influence because they associate it with social media influencers, particularly ones that haven't really done the thing that they are talking about online. And that's not what I'm referring to here. Yes, some producers will try to build influence first as a way to market themselves and their services. And there isn't anything wrong with doing it that way, but that doesn't work for like 98% of producers, only for like 2% who really have the gusto to actually pull that off. And that 2% is usually who's telling the other 98% that they need to build influence. But in my work, I've found that most producers have a lot of friction when it comes to building influence. And there's a couple of reasons. One, they don't feel like they have achieved enough yet and don't wanna come off as being hacky online. Or two, they don't have full confidence in what they're doing and are worried about what their peers will think about this approach. And three, they may just feel like they are copying what everyone else is doing and it all becomes a chore. So again, for most of you, building a production business on influence at the start will probably not be a thing, and it isn't required. Producers have been getting paid work since way before building influence online was even a thing. Okay, so with all of that said, let me show you a different approach to building influence and how it can dramatically change a producer's income streams. And before I do that, I haven't shouted this out in a while, but if you don't know about our podcast, Music Pro Daily, then you're missing out on a lot because I have to keep these YouTube videos entertaining and on the podcast, I can just really speak my mind and teach you everything. The link is in the description below. So now that you know that influence is how these producers are essentially printing money, I want to reverse engineer it by quickly sharing with you the levels of producing. This will make building your career much more systematic. So every producer has to start at level one, which is gaining experience. Experience is how you develop your chops and knowledge as a producer. Apprenticeships, mentorship, courses, doing collaborations with other people, etc. Obviously, there can be more to it than that, but I want to keep this brief. So you'll then leverage that experience to build relationships, which is your network. That's level two. And your experience is what gets you in the door. Producers who are better typically get into better networks and better networks have better opportunities. It's a pretty simple concept. So that's how those two levels will work together. But a lot of producers will try to dive right into all of the business and marketing strategies before they are even developed as a producer. They lack sufficient experience and wonder why none of the business stuff works well for them. The independent artists who are paying producers well are generally serious about pursuing music. I think we could all agree on that. And I specifically say independent here just because the major side works a little differently for how producers get paid. Most of your initial income will be from the independent world at the start. So a lot of producers think that they just can't find these serious artists. But the real problem is that serious artists just don't take them seriously. The experience level is not a match. And typically people want to associate with others who have a similar experience level or more experience than they do. And that leads us to level three, which is your reputation as a producer. 
Do you want the reputation of just being a kid on Fiverr doing those projects? Or do you want a reputation of working on cool projects that are actually going somewhere? Well, that will depend on your network, your relationships, which depends first on your experience level. So level three is reputation. And this is where most producers ride out their career to the end. They keep building a bigger and better reputation. This is the insurance policy for your career. It protects you against market saturation, technology, aging out, etc. But one could also unlock level four, which is influence. A producer with reputation can leverage that reputation to build influence. And this is our preferred order to do things in because people with reputation have it easier when trying to build influence because they don't have to prove themselves to the market. They are already proven. Good examples of this would be somebody like Kenny Beats, Ian Kirkpatrick, etc. Record producers who did the thing first and are now sharing about it. So listen, if you're a newer producer putting out content, you don't have to stop doing that. It's just that content can be more of a networking play at this stage in your career, not necessarily an influence play, unless you're just super into doing that, which is fine. There isn't just one way to build a career. I'm just sharing my perspective from a producer manager who's worked both in the traditional and internet side of the music industry. So here's where it gets cool. Let's look at reputation versus influence when it comes to income streams for a music producer. So for producers with reputation, it's everything on the left side. Generally, they are earning money from their catalog and or freelance work, getting hired to produce records. Occasionally, there are some other income streams here, but let's just keep it simple for now. Next, let's look at producers who have built influence. It opens up everything on the right side of this graphic. There's usually content involved now, and they can generate ad revenue, sponsorship money, donations, affiliate income, etc. Again, diversified income streams on something that they were going to do anyway. They could get into the digital product space and monetize their sounds, their knowledge, and their experience. Everyone asked me about wanting to sell loops and sample packs and courses. Well, that's much easier to do when people actually want to sound like you and you have a reputation. And also there are many other income streams that start to reveal themselves like joint ventures, partnerships, and equity. Basically people wanting you to be a part of their businesses. Again, you're earning this money just because you are you. You're not necessarily having to do anything more or different. And influence also increases everything on the left side of the graphic. That's what the green arrow represents. So the cool news is that for a lot of you producers watching right now, this isn't as far away as you may think it is. This doesn't necessarily have to take 20 plus years. On some degree, this could be achieved in just a handful of years. We've done that with a few of our clients because despite me mentioning some bigger names earlier, reputation and influence are on a sliding scale. For example, here are two producers we've worked with, John McLucas and Austin Hull from Make Pop Music. Both have different levels of influence, as you can see here by the numbers, but both have influence and they do really well, earning six and multiple six figures per year while still going after bigger and better projects. Reputation doesn't have to equal a wall full of platinum plaques and influence doesn't have to equal millions of followers. But again, every producer starts at level one. And if you need help navigating all of these levels from experience to relationships, to reputation, to influence, then just use the link below this video, reach out to us. I'd be happy to point you in the right direction. And make sure to watch this next video where I break down the different types of capital in our industry, which will help you unlock these levels faster. Peace out.